Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why did the Supreme Court rule against Archbishop Flores? The case of City of Bourne v. Flores revolves around a dispute between the Catholic Archbishop of San Antonio, Patrick Flores, and the City of Bourne, Texas. The Archbishop applied for a building permit to enlarge St. Peter's Church, a historic mission-style church in Bourne, Texas, which was located in a historic district. The city denied the permit, citing an ordinance that barred the alteration of historical landmarks. The Archbishop then filed a lawsuit against the city, arguing that the denial violated the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, RFRA of 1993. RFRA was enacted by Congress to reverse the Supreme Court's ruling in Employment Division, Department of Human Resources of Oregon v. Smith, which held that neutral laws of general applicability do not violate the First Amendment's Free Exercise Clause, even if they affect religious practices. RFRA required the government to show a compelling state interest and use the least restrictive means to achieve its goal if a law substantially burdened a person's exercise of religion. The Archbishop argued that the city's historic preservation ordinance substantially burdened the free exercise of his congregation's religion without a compelling state interest. The case made its way through the courts, with the district court initially ruling that RFRA was unconstitutional, and the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals reversing this decision. The Supreme Court ultimately granted certiorari to resolve the issue. The Supreme Court held that Congress exceeded its power under Section 5 of the 14th Amendment by enacting RFRA. The court ruled that while Congress can enforce existing rights, it cannot alter the substantive meaning of a constitutional provision. The court established a test for the constitutionality of Section 5 legislation requiring a congruence and proportionality between the injury to be prevented or remedied and the means adopted to that end. RFRA failed this test because it imposed a remedy more stringent than the original rights defined by the court. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions we're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.